Now the RF power is expressed in decibel milliwatt or dBms. And if we have power in milliwatts, we can easily convert it into power in dBm using this formula. Uh, we are using 1 milliwatt as the reference. So we divide the power in milliwatt by 1 milliwatt. Then we take logarithm to the base 10 and then we multiply the result with 10. So as a result, we get the power in dBm's. And using this formula, if we convert 1 megawatt into dBm's, we get 90 dBm. If we convert 100 watt into dBm's, we get 50 dBm. If we convert 1 milliwatt into dBm's, since 1 milliwatt is the reference here, we get 0 dBm. And if we convert this small quantity into dBm's, we get minus 90 dBm's. So here we can see that between this quantity and this quantity, in terms of watts, there is a huge difference in power in watts. But if we see in terms of dBm's, then this variation is only from 90 dBm to minus 90 dBm. So in terms of numbers, this variation from 90 dBm to minus 90 dBm is much more manageable as compared to these quantities in watts. Now, suppose this mobile station is transmitting the power as 1 watt and the power that is received at the base station, it is 1 milliwatt. So we can see that there is a difference of 1000 times between the transmit and the receive power. And if we use the dBm to express these powers, then in that case, the difference between 1 watt and 1 milliwatt is of 20 and 0. So this is much more manageable.